Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a first impressions. I'm using some unique foundation and a... It's already starting. Already starting. I'm going to use the unique foundation in a cream form along with a their powder and the colors are in velour and then I'm going to use this lovely little eye palette here and this one is their Moonstruck Addiction Shadow Palette. The colors that I used in this were Elated, Chipper, Schwanky, and Forthright. So if you want to see what the first impressions of a non-unique selling, unique trying, unique experience, please stay tuned. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a first impression video and this is on some of the unique products. So we are getting ready to get started. I have already prepped my face. I've washed it. I've moisturized and I just finished squirting on the makeup primer spray and this is from Scandinavia. It's for oil free. We are going to start by using this cream foundation and the color is Velour. I'm going to take a BB or CC cream brush and this one is from Makeup Academy Professional. I think I got this at CVS. I'm just swirling it around. So let's see how this buffs out. Yeah, I may need a slider or a softer brush actually because that has or maybe I just dug in too deep so we're going to switch to a wet and wild maybe it'll take out the little brush strokes okay so for me this foundation isn't covering very well. This is probably a medium coverage foundation and um, my skin needs a full coverage. So I'm trying to build it up. It seems to be setting on my skin. Um, so we'll just give that a moment to maybe see if it sinks in a little bit. But this might actually be for someone that has better skin than I do as far as coverage goes. So we're going to let that sit a moment. We'll see um, before we add the pressed powder. In the meantime, let's try their eyeshadows. All right, we're going to prep our eyes. And this one is with the Soft Ochre. going to highlight with the Tarte Shape Tape. Now we're going to use the Unique Press Powder and this one is also in the color Velour. And I like my little kabuki brushes so I can press the powder into the skin. Okay, so my first impression on the foundation wasn't exactly what I had hoped for. But by highlighting and using this... Um, pressed powder it actually kind of layered nicely so um, while the foundation might be for lighter coverage the combination with adding um, the pressed powder and highlighting really put it together so that's good to know okay so out of the um, shadow palettes I have the Moonstruck shadow palette this one is in browns and golds just a lot of neutral colors so um, we're going to be doing a first impression on this also okay so we're going to start with elated which is this light color here because you know if you watched any of my other videos i like to have a nice base 
to blend off of. And I really like these colors in the palette. I'm very, I'm very happy with these colors in the palette. I'm hoping they blend and go on as well as they look. And then I will be really excited. I keep seeing Unique all over the um, internet. And one of my girlfriends used the Unique. Uh, she put out her link out there for her daughter's cheerleading fundraiser. So, of course, I have to help su help support our youth. Okay, next we're going in with this color here, Chipper. And let's see. Not a whole lot of fallout. That's kind of nice. Love how this is going on. And love the color. Okay. I might be buying some more unique. All right. I'm going to go in with Forthright, which is the next chocolatey, darker chocolatey brown for our outer V. Um, my thoughts on this is almost like the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, actually. Hmm. This palette's colors are, and the blendability remind me so much of that one, and that one's one of my favorites. Very impressive. And since I'm layering colors, I want to go back in with Chipper. And going right over and blending Chipper over the top of Forthright. Just to give a nice blended look. Because sometimes layering the colors, going back and forth with them, just gives a really pretty, smoky yummy look and we all want to look yummy don't lie you want to look yummy all right the one color I was real excited about trying is this little gold color schwinky <laughs> it tickled over some colors they just oh they're just yummy and swanky looks like it's gonna be yummy so I'm going to use some Mac prep and prime we're going to dip that into some Schwanky. We're going to apply that on the lid. Okay, I love this palette. I have no lies to say. I haven't been this excited about a palette in a long time. These browns are working very well together. This gold is amazing. Yeah, I'm going to highly recommend this palette. Um, and now I'm going to go back out on the Unique website and see what other colors they have because I can see that I am liking their quality, which means I'm going to, as you guys know, or it may have, maybe you do or don't know, but once I get a hold of someone I really like, I want to own all their stuff. Um... So yeah, I'm going to have to own all their palettes. I can feel it. Okay, so there's a little saying, what goes up must come down. So we are going to use the colors that are up here, and we're going to bring them down. So we're going to start with this gold color because I'm in love with how pretty it is. It's not like in your face. It may not even be gold. It may be more, I don't know what color. Schwanky is just schwanky. Let's just put it that way. So we're going to take that all the way into the tear duct. And then we're going to go back in with our chipper, which is this nice color here. And we'll start right about the middle and work our way to the edge. And then to go to the outer V with that really dark chocolate called Forthright, we're going to take it and go into the last third and bring that up I 
I am using the Ultra Liner. This is by Maybelline. We are going to use the Lash Sensational on the upper lash. While the tips are drying, I'm going to go ahead and contour the face with the Makeup Geek. What a bad impression. Oh my god, please don't judge. Please don't judge. I was just trying to have a little fun, folks. We're going to go in with Makeup Geek's Secret Admirer. That kind of looks like it's fun. Maybe too cool. The Promise Ring mixed with Puppy Love, these two. So we're going to just dab into both of those. And hit them apples of the cheeks. Okay, so we contoured and we um, hit some color on the apples of the cheeks. We're going to go back in. Again, i got to find that lady's video. Let me hold down the little mirror. And so she said to hold it at an angle. Hold it at an angle. Which pushes the product on the one side. And then she said to go from the base up on your eyelashes. And that because you have put the mascara already on the tips and let that dry when you go through to do this coat from the base to the top it should add some length okay so for the lips we're going to use one out of the makeup geek iconic collection and this one is called witty so this is a nice brown Which is very pretty. Witty is very pretty. Mm, that's the first time I've used those. Those are nice and creamy. Okay. Well, now I'm going to go finish my hair or do something with my hair. And I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching today and doing a first impressions video with me. I've never just done a first impressions naming it first impressions anyhow i did enjoy using um the velour foundation and powder from unique and the home run major hitter for me like grand slam was this um mood struck addiction shadow palette hands down um while i may not have been overly excited about the foundation i did love their powder would purchase that again but where I'm going to go back for sure and purchase some more is I want to see what other types of eyeshadow palettes they have because hands down, I love this one. This one actually, I'm getting ready to get on a plane in a couple hours and um, I hadn't planned on taking this with me. I'm taking it with me. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this first impressions video and I, as always, make it a beautiful day. As a side note, if you haven't subscribed, Please subscribe below, or if you have, please refer me to a friend. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you again. Bye. Until next time.